Similar to the taper of a fly line, the taper of your leader is vital to how the fly is delivered at the end of your cast. I'm Josh Jenkins from Scientific Anglers, and I'm gonna go over how the three sections of a leader taper, the butt section, the taper section, and the tippet section determine how that fly is gonna be delivered and what fly size is most ideal for that leader. The butt section of your tapered leader is the end that's closest to your fly line and will typically have the perfection loop in it. The most critical thing about the butt section of your leader is to match it to the tip of your fly line. And that's gonna be a relationship of about 70% diameter between the butt diameter of your leader and the tip diameter of your floating fly line. Additionally, the butt diameter is gonna determine how aggressively that leader was designed to turn over. So if you have a larger butt diameter, it's gonna be better suited to large flies. And if you have a smaller butt diameter, it's gonna be better suited to small flies. From the butt section of the leader, we transition into what we call the taper section. And this is basically gonna take that butt diameter down to your tippet section. And there's a generality here in how that leader was designed to turn over, and that's determined by the length of that taper section. The shorter the taper section, the more aggressive the cast and the turnover is gonna be, and that's gonna be better suited for larger flies. And if you have a long, exaggerated taper section on your leader, that's gonna be better suited for delicate presentations and smaller flies, such as trout dries. After the taper section, we transition into what we call the tippet section, and this is the terminal end of your leader and where you attach your fly. And like the taper section, the tippet section length can determine how that leader is gonna cast. So generally speaking, a shorter tippet section is gonna be better for larger flies because it's gonna turn over a little bit harder. And a longer tippet section is gonna be better for delicate presentations and smaller flies like this. The tippet section is also gonna determine how long that leader is gonna last while you're fishing it. As you're changing flies and tying knots and cutting back on that level tippet section, eventually it'll run out. And you can extend the life of your leader by adding more tippet, either by directly knotting to the leader or by knotting to some other device like a tippet ring or a swivel. The size of the tippet is also gonna determine how strong that leader is. And that's what we use on our packaging to determine size. So if you take the length added up of the butt section, the taper section, and the tippet section, that's how you get the length on the packaging. For example, nine feet or 10 feet. And then if you take the tippet diameter or tippet strength, such as 4X or 12 pound, that's how you determine the size of the tippet section or what the strength is gonna be in your fishing application. Within Scientific Angler's Absolute Leader Program, we have a ton of different options of leader tapers to cover a wide variety of fishing situations. We have leaders that are applicable for things like trout fishing, all the way up to bass and saltwater, and even some stuff for predator fishing. So let's use those couple points that I went over to compare a couple different leader tapers. If we look at something like a trout taper and a bass leader, for example, we're gonna see some drastic differences. The bass leader is gonna have a longer, larger butt section with a shorter taper section and a shorter tippet section that's gonna be better designed for throwing large flies that you typically throw at bass. And by comparison, the trout leader is gonna have a longer, smaller butt section with a longer taper section and a longer tippet section. That's all gonna determine that that leader basically casts more delicately and can deliver a smaller fly more accurately.